But let's shift our attention to everybody's other favorite summertime food, that being lobster, of course. So let's crack into some suggestions with Dave Edelman. Dave, we always say on this show that we will drive anywhere just to get a good meal. And when it comes to lobster rolls, you actually think it is worth the drive, even from Boston, to go to Wiscasset, Maine, to go to a place called Red's Eats, explain that one. Uh, look, Phantom Gourmet is the Sacagawea of great food. I mean, <laughs> he'll, he'll travel anywhere. And this place may have the best lobster roll in the country. Wow. Okay, it is so good, people pull up on the highway and cause a traffic jam. They stand <laughs> in line for an hour to get this thing. There's only a few items on the menu. It's takeout only, and the lobster roll is made with fresh lobster. They get it every day. Just a huge pile of tails, claws, knuckles on a grilled buttered bun, served with warm drawn butter and mayo on the side so you can make it just the way you like it. That looks so absolutely incredible right there. Now, a lot of people think that lobster, well, it is kind of expensive when you go to some of these restaurants, yes. but for an affordable place to get lobster, you recommend the Fresh Catch, which has a few locations on the South Shore. Yeah, they have a bunch of uh, different stores, including Mansfield, Attleboro, Northeastern. Next to the restaurants, they have fish markets. So you know it really is their business. We call the owner the unpredictable Bill Saro because he does specials that seem to defy economics. Like he's got to be losing money on these. So besides the oysters, fried clams, you want to get anything with lobster here, okay? They're doing lobster potato skins, lobster rolls. You can add a lobster tail to any dish for a few bucks. Steam lobsters are their specialty. Twin lobsters are always on special. They'll even serve your lobster up to six pounds. Why not? Because you can never <laughs> have quite enough lobster. Now, speaking of affordable lobsters, baked stuffed lobster, usually a very high ticket item, yes. but a place called the Inn Bay Point. It's in Quincy. Their baked stuffed lobster is incredible and really very affordable. I think baked stuffed lobster is the best food you can get at a restaurant. Whoa. I really think that. It is just so savory and buttery and delicious. And their rendition is amazing. I mean, this place has great outdoor dining, amazing views. They do um, awesome seafood and steak dishes. Their baked stuffed lobster is two pounds lazy man style. So they remove the claws, then put them back inside, and they combine that with delicious seafood stuffing and seared scallops. Oh, what a great baked stuffed lobster on the water this is. Yeah, this is one of those places that's a true hidden jewel. It's kind of like down this weird residential road you right off the You're in the wrong place, and I then know. you stumble onto this oasis of great lobster. The Bay Point in Quincy. Now, let's crack into something totally different, okay? Maine is known as the lobster capital of the universe. Agunquit, Maine is a great place to go, and you, there's a lot of places to get lobster up there, but one place is a pizzeria called Cornerstone, and they're doing a lobster pizza. So they do an upscale pizza in a wood oven with lobster spread with sherry-infused ricotta cheese. So you got the cold lobster salad and drizzled lemon aioli like a lobster roll. You've got the warm bread and the cool lobster salad. Oh, this is really yeah, good. Yeah, that's exactly it. We always ask Jasper White, what makes a lobster roll so good? And he says it's really just about the contrast. It's the warm buttered bread and the cool lobster salad on top. And why not stick it on a pizza? All right, Davey, thank you for cracking into it. Up